continuing from our previous video where we studied relationship between zeros and coefficients of a quadratic polynomial we'll do the same for a cubic polynomial so let's suppose there's a cubic polynomial of general form as ax cube plus bx square plus cx plus t is equal to 0 and its roots are given as alpha, beta and gamma. So just like in case of a quadratic polynomial the sum of roots is given as alpha plus beta plus gamma would be equal to minus coefficient of x square divided by coefficient of x cube so which will be minus b by a and the product of roots is given as minus constant term which is t divided by coefficient of x cube which is a so this is minus d by a in case of a cubic polynomial there is one more relationship between zeros and coefficients which is when we sum up the product of roots taken two at a time which is alpha multiplied by beta beta multiplied by gamma plus gamma multiplied by alpha this expression is actually coefficient of x divided by coefficient of x cube which is a so this is c by a now we will look at an example in order to verify these three relationships so this is the first one this is the second one and this is the third one now the problem states that if 3 minus 1 and minus 1 by 3 are roots of a polynomial given by 3x cube minus 5x square minus 11x minus 3 verify the relationship between the roots and the coefficients so we know that there are three relationships so let's write down the first one. The first one is sum of roots. So what we will do is we will calculate each of these relationships one by using the roots directly and one by using coefficients. So let's take sum of the roots. So this is 3 minus 1 minus 1 by 3 and when we add all of these up it becomes 9 minus 3 minus 1 which is 5 by 3. Now let's use coefficients. So the relationship given for sum of roots is minus the coefficient of x square divided by the coefficient of x cube. So this becomes minus 5 rather minus of minus 5 divided by 3 which is nothing but 5 and 3 so we can see that 5 these two are same let's take product of roots so product is given by multiplying all these three roots so 3 multiplied by minus 1 multiplied by minus 1 by 3 minus and minus cancels out 3 and 3 also cancels out we are left with 1 using the coefficients the product formula is given by minus the term constant divided by the coefficient of x cube so minus 3 the minus of minus 3 divided by 3 we will get 1 again we get the same answer using the roots and using the coefficients. Let's take product for roots taken two at a time. So let's do that. So this becomes 3 multiplied by minus 1 plus minus 1 multiplied by minus 1 by 3 plus minus 1 by 3 multiplied by 3 this becomes 
minus 3 plus 1 by 3 and minus 1 taking 1 by 3 as common this becomes minus 9 plus 1 minus 3 so this is minus 12 plus 1 minus 11 by 3 using the coefficients the formula was the coefficient of term x divided by the coefficient of term x cube so we will take these two numbers minus 11 and 3 so this is minus 11 by 3 and we can see that it's the same answer we got from using the roots so this relationship between roots and coefficients is verified for a cubic polynomial.